I kept thanking people as I walked in for coming tonight to honor me, and they kept saying, we didn't come for you. <laughs> <laughs> they kept naming off all the other people. <laughs> but again, very seriously, thank you for allowing me to get this award. When I see myself included among those who in the past received it, I feel rather humble. And when I think about receiving it in the name of Monsignor McNeil, I really feel humble. The liberal arts education that I received here has served me unbelievably in my personal and professional lives. While I was here, I was taught that we are to open ourselves to the world, that we are to take on new experiences, that we are to gain and learn from them, and learn I did. When I contacted Ellen to tell her that she had been selected to receive the Beata Nettemeyer Service Award, she was quite predictably very humble, and she downplayed the impact of her daily work. She said, I'm not worthy to receive such an award. I'm sure there are other alumni who have done greater things for the welfare of others. She explained that she's unable to fly to the U.S. to receive the award in person because of some physical and health problem and because both her passport and her visa have now expired. Same problems recur. Growing up on a farm, boys spent a lot of time with our dad. And once at a time I remember I asked, why did he send six of his seven children to Catholic colleges? His answer was very simple. This is where they meet their spouse, and God's are better than marry a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> and he went on, he said, and besides, they get out in four years. <laughs> uh, thank you, JT, and members of the Alumni Association for considering us for this honor. Sarah, thank you for all your efforts plan and execute this event. Our association is lucky to have your leadership. When we talk about being a Catholic university, it doesn't mean we just have a crucifix on the wall or we wear a Roman collar or all the external signs, and I'm not putting any of that down. But if we don't really do the kind of things to transform, then I'm not sure we're really Catholic. In this university, I was just amazed when Rosemary Needens gave that figure the other night. You know how many service hours in the last year that were measured the Newman students gave? 258,000. And in her native Philippines, Elna and her sisters worked with the poorest citizens of their community to, to, to provide food, shelter, clothing, education, and limited medical care to women and children who are deprived and endangered. With the scholarship I got in education, but where I really have grown is an understanding of Maria's charism through the relationships with people that we've met and learned to love here. Chicago inner city school children who lived in abject poverty taught me that while money isn't everything, the lack of money affects everything. I'd like to close with one more saying I learned from my father. He had a saying that he often repeated, especially when we were working on something big and important and messy. He would say, just make sure you leave it better than you found it. Make sure you leave it better than you found it. I don't know if I achieved through my years of service any of that with the university, but I tried. To leave it better than I found it. And I pray that such a spirit of stewardship in the heart of our students as they go forth to transform society, to leave the world better than they found it. Thank you so much for this honor and this mission.